Hello and welcome to Environmental Science and Technology, I'm Dr. Steve Goodman and today we're going to take a very brief look at how to download your Miniray Lite and your Miniray 3000 data logging. So, um, the Miniray Lite now has data logging, it's uh, just normal rudimentary data logging which is just uh, instantaneous data points. Uh, the Miniray 3000 has quite extensive data logging with peak values, average values, stale values, TWA values and live values. So we've got quite a lot going on there. So for both instruments it's exactly the same procedure, so we've got a cross arrow here, we select the button underneath it which corresponds, we scroll through, and it says enter PC communications and stop measurement, we say yes. That's now ready to be hooked up to a PC, same here if we scroll across. Enter PC communications and stop measurement, yes. So we're just going to have a quick look at downloading the Miniray Lite here. Uh, works exactly the same for Miniray 3000 or pretty much any Ray instrument whatsoever. So we've got a couple of things that we can do. So the easiest way is just to go to Auto Detect and you'll see your instrument there. If you don't see your instrument there, what I suggest you do is you go to Settings and you check your COM. Now that's the most common area for uh, problems, it's uh, basically the rom-com channel is selected. Now it should automatically go to the correct one, but sometimes you don't. So anyway, let's just exit that, so I go auto detect, go to my mini ray light, select it, and it will load up down the side here. So I've got several things that I can do, I can go into the setup of the instrument, and here I can basically select whatever I want to change. So if I want to change password access to the unit, I can change the password on it. If I were to say want to change the date and time format, I can do. Um, so this is essentially where you do most of your setting up of the unit. Um, if I go to data log, if I hit this arrow here, that will download all the data log from the instrument. So that took a little while to download. Now what I suggest you do here is if you, rather than have it in this display, if you want to have a look at what's recorded the most data, you just hit this end button and you get your data points come through. So this one here, 304 data points, so if I click it, we'll get a quick summary. So I had a peak of 37.3, a minimum of 4.7 and an average of 9.7. So, if we then go through to this menu here, we can have a look at it in tabular form, which is uh, absolutely fine if you want to have it in tabular form. Uh, we can put it into a, a graph here, so you've got your graph data, so you can see that we had descending uh, values of VOCs, another peak, and then it descended again. So, basically, you've got your data there that you can use. Now, we can adjust this graph with these tools up here so we can zoom in zoom out we can right click on it we can copy the graph export it and it will print um, we can change the format so data points or just lines so all fairly easy so the other thing that we can do here is if we want to export our data we've got these two options here which are basically the two export options so i can click on this one and i can export it as a csv or a text format so that's one way of getting the data log out fairly easily. The other thing that I can do is hit this one, and then you've got an option to have all of these different things exported. Now you can have it as a tab instead of comma separated file if you would like. So the other things that we can be doing, if we click into reports here, and I download reports. So this one's got not too many reports in it, which is good, makes life easier. So basically under your reports here, this is where you can download your calibration summary. So this is a unit that's been calibrated quite a lot recently because I've done a fair few demos with it. So if we have a look here, you've got your calibration summary. So it's a pass, a pass. It was done on 1609, 2017 at 1320. Gives the model of the unit, it's firmware variant. And then basically it goes through all the calibration results. So you've got your zero results, your span results. It gives you a bit of sensor information here about what sensors installed. And it gives you a summary of your alarm settings. So that's very good for um, generating your own calibration reports. It's um, all very nice and easy. Yet again, if I want to export this, I've got my two export options here. So 
here I can export a calibration certificate, a bump test certificate, or a violation report. We're not going to bother with that. Or we can just go as a straight rich text format download. So, all very easy. One of the other things that we can do is we can update the firmware on the unit. So if I've downloaded a firmware update from the Ray Systems website, um, the most recent one for the Mini Ray Lite is uh, very good because it actually gives you the data logging option, whereas before you didn't have it. And you just click Run Programmer. You open where your data log's coming from. And then you just say Start Programmer, and then it will reprogram your units. So that's a quick summary of ProRay Studio 2 software for you. Um, if you need to know more, feel free to contact us at www.environced.com or info at environced.com or on 01904 373 018. Thank you for watching and enjoy your day.